All right, guys, today we are doing a back day. So stay tuned and let's get in that gym. Oh my God! Right then, another voiceover for back day. First of all, I'm gonna be doing deadlifts at least once a week, but for reps on a working set. Just six reps until I feel comfortable. I did three sets of six and it felt pretty all right. The last set was a killer though. I, I felt it in my lower back. And what I tend to do is I'll do deadlifts one day and then that'll be it on the other back day will be something like something to do with deadlifting like back pulls or something like that but after i did the deadlifts i did rdls or romanian deadlifts if you want to call them and as you can see i'm using straps i've lowered the weight I tend to have lower back problems, nothing serious, it's just aches and that's probably because my body's still trying to get used to doing all this heavy movement. I'm still quite a newbie when it comes to lifting heavy weights, you know, I've only been really doing this for half a year properly and seeing how much of a novice I am. I think I'm pretty alright with it, you know, for my body weight, I can lift quite a bit, you know, form's not the best, but it's okay. Then I went on to lap pulls, and I was quite impressed today, I was doing 3 sets of 15, getting that high repage in, and it was easy, so next time I'll probably be adding another set or up in the weight, depending on how I feel on the day. But, like I say, if you're doing this move, don't do it straight back. You need to lean back a little bit and then pull to your chest, but using your lats, not your arms. Then I went on to the rows on the machine, well, plated machine, seated rows. I've seen people stand up and do this recently. If you do that, do you target a certain part differently? Is it the lower part of the lat? Obviously it's for thickness. Just wanna know because I'm interested to know and I'm too lazy to find out. Anyway, next I'm going on to close grip rows. My gym does not have one of these machines. And it's the most frustrating thing ever because I love doing these. And I have to get on a cable machine, put one of these stupid step up things, and then the cable machine is not heavy enough. I'm basically almost maxing this cable machine out and I'm doing 15 reps easy. Obviously you wanna squeeze, when you're pulling back, squeeze and then tilting forward and then when you come back squeeze then obviously because it's a back day well pull you get the eye you get the bit of, you get a little bit ugh, talk properly you get the biceps in there i haven't done biceps for ages so this month i haven't really touched my biceps which is quite rare for me because i love doing arms it's one of my favorite exercises um but I was just doing standard bicep curls and then I went on to just a 10 kg weight doing 20 reps this is like a finishing move if you want to do it it's great to get that pump in you know if you've got vascular veins or you're a very veiny person you're going to see them pop out obviously you're not going to see them pop out on me because I'm a fat git at the moment and been a bit down the last couple of weeks because even though I'm putting on weight, look at me there, look how fat I am. Then I went on to cross body hammer curls. I'm doing a rep range between 
8 to 12 what I can get out of course it's the end of the actual workout and I'm a bit tired still got that stupid throat thing and then a 4 hour exercise obviously you work your bicep but this burns your forearms and I don't really see many people working forearms and I think they should anyway hope you enjoyed the workout there you go guys and um, that is my back day and you can see I did deadlift today um, obviously not max weight I'm not going to do max weight for a long long time again now so what I'm going to do is I'm doing working sets of six uh, three sets um, then I'll do something to accompaniment that you know like RDLs um, after that my bottom of my back is absolutely fried so I leave it and then go on to isolation moves I don't do this every back day it'll pay a toll on my back and I just don't want to get my back hurting and getting injured you know I'm trying to increase my strength I don't want to torture and fry my back completely so I can't do anything every back day is different um, I'm gonna uh, on my other back day I'll probably do stuff like barbell rows or and dumbbell rows I was putting lap pull downs and I also which I didn't get on camera um, I do pull-ups because pull-ups are one of the best things to get the laps I always do them at the start of my workout because they are hard to do you know if you say pull-ups are not hard to do you're lying because pull-ups are hard that's why people can't do them um, so I do them first warm up the, um, the back I look at what I did the other day and I do an alternative to it so if I did a, something with a barbell I'll make sure I do singles the next time so I can isolate each side of my body because you don't want imperfections on your body because when you're using barbells all the time one side probably is stronger than the other side and that's where you'll grow bigger muscles on the one side than the other so there's a little tip this is the end of this video not long left on this vlogging every day in August um, I've got a few good last videos so stay tuned if you are new to this channel subscribe and give me a thumbs up see you again